Of course, the final stage of all is going to be MVEX8, and it's the hardest one that you can ever ask for in this event. The challenge condition states that more enemies will appear, which in particular, one more of the infamous recidivists will be featured in this stage, where this guy will appear at the end, going straight from the red box into the blue box, not even going on the roundabout in the map. Practically everyone that you see in this event is being featured over here, so we need someone who can kill them all at once. The boss Jesselton himself is also in this map as well, and he has some things for you to take note of. In his first phase, he has greatly increased resistance, so if you try to use Arts Damage against him, it's not going to really kill him. But he uses Long Range Arts Damage and he can stun multiple targets. Um, he does not attack Imprisonment Devices, which is pretty good. Now, the fact that he has increased resistance in his first phase means that we can try to stall him using an Arts Damage Melee Dealer. So we're going to want to use an Arts Guard to hold him there so that we can kill everybody else and leave him as the last person on the map to kill. Alright, he has a C resistance and a B defense, so generally weak to both types of damage, um, except in the first phase. Oh, but in the second phase, he has a greatly increased defense. So it's a bit of a reversal here. You should use physical damage against him in the first phase and then um, arts damage in the second phase. But yeah, we'll get through it later on. Now, this is the squad that we're going to take. So we'll be using one of the six stars that we didn't get to use in Men's Hill Break previously, which is Chen Alter herself. You'll want her at skill 3 M3, and if you don't have that, please borrow from a friend. No friends? You know what to do. Come to my Discord server, there's people for you to add. Next up, you'll want three medics. Two single target medics, like a Hibiscus and a Susuro, and one multi-target medic. Higher the rarity it is, the better it will be. Next up, you'll want a Arts Guard. So as mentioned, an Arts Guard is going to be used to stall the boss. If you've got an Estes here, you've got a Sedoroka or a Serta, you can use them in order to hold the boss. Serta could be a little risky, because Serta actually reduces the resistance of the boss. This meaning to say that she might just kill the boss, and that's not really what you want. You actually want to hold the boss there, so that you leave Chen Alter to be the one to do the killing. Alright. You want a single target sniper, so Cruz is the example of that. Um, bring other single target snipers if you want to. Uh, like a Ash, a Axia, a Blue Poison, a Platinum. Right? Then afterwards, bring a... No, not one, but two Lords over here. So these are ranged guards that can turn their damage from physical damage to arts damage. Midnight and Arena examples, if you've got a Lapland, an Aeoska or a Tones, you can use them to replace these two operators right here. Next, you want two units that can increase their defense. So these are Protector Defenders. Beagle and Quora are examples. If you have a Bison, which conveniently, there's, conveniently sorry, there's a record restore going on for Code of Brawl right now. Bison can be used to replace those two. Um, a Nian is going to be fine as well. Hoshiguma. Uh, Liskam is a little risky because she needs it uh, to... She kind of auto-charges herself, so not really on Liskam. Just think of anyone who can increase their defense greatly, and then you can replace those two operators with them. And finally, you want a single target arts caster. Um, core casters, basically. So Stewart is an example. If you have other units that you have in mind, please feel free. Now, two free slots. It's a little bit less than the previous stages. But still, you can use them to maybe say bring vanguards that you want or um, use them to bring some stronger 6 stars that you own within your account. Like a Serta, I think Serta will make this stage a lot easier. Air Fiela, Carnelian, Passenger as well are examples of good operators within this stage. Alright, let's play it. MBEX8, first come, first serve. Alright, to begin the stage, we're going to be placing Chen Alter first as soon as, you have, as soon as you have enough deployment point. I always stumble on my words. Now there's enough deployment points. Place her over here. Placing to the back. It might be a little bit unexpected, but you'll see why in a bit later. As soon as Chen's skill is ready, Go ahead and turn it on. As you see, also, I place my marksman sniper over here. 
facing to the right. Stun this guy once. Uh-uh. Not like that. Place your lord, your range guard over here facing to the right along with the second one as well. Once Chen kills all the enemies at the bottom lane, go ahead and turn her off. And then we wait out for the snipers to appear. There are two snipers on this map. You want to stun them so that they don't destroy the towers too fast. There's a trim medal in this stage that states to leave three towers still intact by the end of the stage. So, when the first sniper appears, stun this guy. And when the second one appears, stun that guy as well. Next up, place a defender over here. And place another defender right over here. Also put a multi-target medic, just like that. I'm going to turn on Aerin's skill so that he can kill the smaller guys faster. And when Chen's skill is available, turn it on as well. Next, I'm going to put a medic, single target medic, over here facing upwards. Leave Chen's skill on. Because another guy is coming right in. Same thing, stun that guy once. Once Chen is done, you can turn off a skill. Then stun these snipers over here just once. Now pay attention to the boss, Mr. Jesselton right there. The moment he moves, place moves. Or whichever ask card that you brought. The moment he moves. Like that. Right now. And then activate your single target medic skill to do some healing. Once these two guys start moving as well, activate the skills of your lords and your multi-target medic skill also. Use the stun tower to stop them in their tracks. And once the all kill, just like that, remove your lords, remove your single target sniper, and place your single target medic. Now, increase the defense of your defenders to hold these guys back a little longer including the beagle right at the bottom there. Now, single target caster. Place your single target caster over here, facing to the right. Once this guy, this particular guy with his red balls coming in, gets into Chen's range, activate his skill. Feel free to stun. Stun the bottom as well. Right. Nice and dusted. Chen is doing sweet killing right now. Okay, her skill is still up. She's able to sweep quite a few people. And she's gonna take a while. Now, Sen... Sorry, Sen. Why did I say Sen? Chen saved a lot of bullets just now. It's going to be a little bit tricky because sometimes she might not save bullets. If that happens, you might notice that some of these like heavy defense um, enemies, they might still actually be straying behind. Activate the stun towers or the defense of your defenders as, as and when you think you need, basically. So for example right now, like Beagle is holding on, I'll increase the defense. Alright, leave Jesselton alone on the top over there. No need to be too worried about him. We wait until Chen's skill is up again. Okay, I need you all to take note of one thing as well. Because some of you might ask me this. The point when you place moose should be when the boss starts walking. If you're a little bit late in your placement, what you might realize is that the guys with the the guy with the red ball, he might switch with Jesselton. What I mean is that Moose might stop blocking the boss and he'll, she will stop. Sorry, Moose will stop blocking the boss and then she will block the guy with the red balls. If that happens, your run ends. You need to restart because she needs to be blocking the boss, not the guy with the red balls. Get the idea? So if that occurs, understand, again, you need to time it a little bit more carefully. Only drop Moose when Jesselton starts walking. All right? Okay, Chen skill is ready. I'm gonna activate it. Oh, it's fine. Even if this guy is 
apparently killed my beagle. So I'll take revenge, I'll turn on Chen's skill in order to kill the guy. There you go. I'm gonna stun this dearest boss right now. Uh, turn off Chen's skill. You don't want Chen to like eliminate the boss. Let's remove Irene. Let's remove uh, Quora as well. Now I'm gonna wait until Jessotan stuns Moose to place Midnight in. So that I can hold him right over there. I'm gonna place Cruz as well. Okay, let's stun him. So we deal all the physical damage that we need in order to get rid of him. Alright, he's down. So at this point, Chen's skill is about to be up. Go ahead, turn it on. And you use Chen's skill itself to get rid of the boss. With whatever bodies and stun towers that you have remaining, stun the boss, hold him there if you can. Play some defenders. Just hold him back. Go ahead, place another defender as well. Hold him back again. And there you go. That's how you can easily beat MBEX8. If you want an easier time, I would recommend you to bring or borrow a higher level Chen Alter. And that way, you won't be too stressed out by this particular stage. Alright, should be simple enough for you guys to follow. Although there is a lot of little timings as to when to activate the stun tower. Alright, if you guys have any questions, please ask me down in the comments below. I wish you guys all the best in clearing every EX stage of Men's Break. Alright, that's there for the guides. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.